Three days with Ubuntu 18.10, codename Cosmic Cuttlefish. This was by request from last week. I downloaded this Monday. I've been playing with this. I've been thinking about this for three days. I'm going to try to give you three days worth personal thoughts on Ubuntu 18.10, about five minutes or so, if that's even possible, but I'll give it a shot. Well, Ubuntu 18.10, even though it's still a beta, I will tell you that it does feel polished. It's not finalized yet, but that being said, it feels stable, it feels polished. Uh, I like the default colors and fonts. I think the standard fonts, colors, how this is made and designed for 1810, it's perfectly acceptable. Now this is supposed to uh, supposedly run a little faster and consume less RAM. I chose not to uh, install this uh, in a separate machine because I'll, I'll be quite honest installing this in a separate machine is, is not going to change my final thoughts about Ubuntu 18.10 and as far as my final thoughts are for this it this is a desktop environment no more GNOME that does not quite feel natural and that's probably why I cannot use something like this as my daily driver an example would be here to the top right of the panel you would think that if I click each individual icon, that's going to give me a separate drop down menu or a setting. And it doesn't. No matter what you click, it goes to this standard drop down box here, unless, of course, you, cl you know, click the keyboard. But if I was to click sound or the volume icon, I've, I've been so used to other dishes where I click the uh, volume icon and I go straight to sound settings. I do have a couple of settings here for volume and, and microphone but no matter what you click you, you have to click the well settings uh, menu icon there to go to your complete settings now this is okay as far as the uh, settings application this is perfectly fine but it just doesn't quite feel natural I also don't like not being able to uh, customize the panel at least not by default now you can download extensions to you know make this more user friendly which presents another problem extensions may not work and it can break the system so out of the box as it were it doesn't quite feel natural so after three days of thinking about this even installing this you know installing this as a as a full install in a test machine is as a test machine is not going to change my thoughts on what I personally use this as a daily driver I would not. Now, something to play with in a test machine, sure. Ubuntu continues to evolve. Uh, it feels polished. Like I said, it looks great. I have no reason to believe that once this is finalized, um, it won't be stable. I'm sure it will be stable. Uh, I did have very good luck installing two Snap packages. Uh, snap install VLC. And uh, let's see, AppKit did not work, but I uh, and also a snap install simple screen recorder. So hopefully when all this is done, I will stop, play this back, and everything is going to work. Um, I can't minimize this, by the way, but I chose to leave it up there just to let you know uh, that I was able to install this at least as a snap package. Um, I do like the ability to right-click on the desktop and make some changes. Or go, oh, or go to the terminal, uh, change background, and you have your complete settings here, which is, I believe, to be uh, user-friendly. But it's not my preferred desktop environment. It's just personal preference. You may like this the way it is. It's perfectly fine for you, possibly. But if I was going to use this every day, every day I would have to heavily somewhat customize this to make this more user-friendly for me. And with distributions like Ubuntu Mate or Linux Mint, I generally don't have to customize anything. It just works pretty much the way I want it after um, a full install. So you asked, and those are my thoughts, my three days of thoughts about Ubuntu 18.10. Keep in mind, as of this recording, this is still a beta. So uh, keep that in mind if you are going to install this. I believe this will be finalized in about a couple weeks or so. But it looks great. It feels great. I did. The, I think most of the default apps are fine. I would change change just a few things quickly. I would probably use GUVC View for the webcam app. 
Uh, I, I would install Chrome. Firefox is already installed. LibreOffice is fine. Uh, Rhythmbox uh, is terrific. And uh, yeah, I already installed VLC and of course to record. Uh, simple Screen Recorder is fine and I would um, I'll probably install OBS Studio. The Ubuntu Software Center, by the way, looks fantastic, um, even though it's not working right now. Uh, but uh, I would probably also install um, the Synaptic Package Manager, a powerful tool for installing and installing applications once you get more uh, comfortable with Linux. So that's it. My three days worth of thoughts for Ubuntu 18.10 Cosmic Cuttlefish. That's all I have for this one. Brief update. No show. I have no sh no show scheduled live show for this Friday. It doesn't look like we'll have any sponsors for this Friday night show. Things can change, but as of now, as of this recording, no live show for Friday. I might see you maybe Saturday or Sunday briefly. Uh, that's it. Check out all the links below in the show notes. Once again, thank you for eight and a half years of this Total OS Today technology channel. Thank you for all of your support. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell if you would like to be apprised of new videos and topics. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.